Hello people and welcome to this uh, today uh, recipe. So uh, we want to um, make uh, one of the most uh, iconic uh, uh, dish uh, in the all Italian cuisine. So uh, it's uh, pasta alla carbonara. If you if you follow if you follow me, I will give you some tips uh, if you can find uh, this or other ingredient. Uh, it's uh, it's perfect uh, in any way, so it's uh, very um, oozy, very creamy. It's fantastic. It's uh, very it's delicious. Okay, so uh, we will we start uh, with uh, the um, ingredients. Obviously, spaghetti. You can use also uh, other type of pasta, but uh, traditionally it's uh, spaghetti. Guanciale, it's uh, the pork cheek. As you can see, is uh, um, fatter than the ordinary bacon. Um, you have uh, a special uh, uh, part of um, pepper and it's very salty. Um, it's uh, absolutely wonderful. If you can't find uh, um, guanciale because uh, it's, uh, it's hard to find maybe in your zone or uh, where you are, uh, you can use uh, uh, absolutely bacon. Uh, it's not the same, but uh, it works anyway. Some grain of pepper, black pepper. Uh, I will explain after um, how to use it. And obviously, uh, eggs. Normally, uh, the, the recipe is uh, one egg per person plus one for the pan. It's a tradition in, in Italy. So uh, if you are four, um, you can use five eggs. By the way, I will put uh, in the description um, all the quantities for um, a traditional dish of four people, okay? So the first thing that we have to do is to preparing the water. Okay, and the second is uh, to take a pan. Uh, in this pan we uh, will cook uh, il guanciale, we cook uh, the pepper, and uh, uh, we uh, assemble all the ingredients because uh, um, we don't want that the egg will be cooked. We don't want scrambled eggs. We want to, um, egg will melt um, by the heat uh, of, the, of the pasta. So uh, basically it's uh, creamy, it's uh, oozy, it's uh, delicious. So uh, we can basically make a hot pan and we can put inside the grain of pepper. We want to make uh, this uh, little grain uh, hot, and we uh, after we, we, we crush it, and uh, the, um, the flavor is uh, 100 times better than the uh, pre-grained uh, pepper. We have to put the salt in the pasta, but in this case, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a very salty recipe. So we put uh, uh, a little less than normal. Okay, because guanciale is very salty, because uh, uh, we use also... Um, I, I forgot to say that we have another basic ingredient, I'm so sorry, that it's pecorino romano. You can use also uh, parmesan, uh, you can use um, other um, cheese, but the, the most uh, iconic one are pecorino romano or uh, parmigiano. Uh, the other options are only if you have uh, uh, a very, very emergency, okay? Okay, um, as you can see, by touching, careful because the pan is very hot, um, it, it will take uh, just uh, two minutes or so. So the grain of pepper are uh, hot and now we crush it here. We use some, a little baking paper. You can use a uh, a spoon or you can use uh, also this one or if you have a mortar it, it's, uh, it's better but if you don't have any of these tools so if you you, you, you cannot you cannot uh, 
you cannot uh, feel the smell but it's uh, it's absolutely fantastic it's uh, it's um, 100 times more than any other pepper pre-grained we can put uh, the pepper here if you can uh, if you can bend the baking paper in this way you no, don't waste uh, and uh, you don't uh, create uh, unnecessary rubbish and uh, your wife or your husband or your partner uh, will, will thank you. Uh, what we want to do now is to cut the guanciale and cook the guanciale, okay? We can overlap those ones and we cut. Uh, you have to ask uh, to your um, local butcher uh, if uh, he can make uh, for you um, two slices of uh, half a centimeter of thickness and uh, after that uh, they have to be just like this in the pan don't add any uh, any other fat don't add olive oil don't add anything because it's um, it's, uh, you have a very, very large amount of fat, so uh, we don't want to add fat to fat, and it's, uh, it's perfected like this. While the guanciale is cooking, now we prepare the eggs. So we take a fork, one egg, two egg, and the pepper. We want to create a, a cream, a sort of cream. We take this one apart. We take another dish and we can use the pecorino romano. Keep an eye on this one. Personally, I really love uh, a good quantity of, of the pecorino. So, but it's uh, up to you. You can you can use uh, uh, less than I I use. Uh, you can also not use it all, but it's not exactly the same. You have to to use uh, a little a little of uh, parmesan or pecorino. Uh, as you can see now. You have to put some of this fat here in the, in the egg and we can leave this, this another one. Okay, the guanciale is okay, we can stop and we need to, uh, we need to uh, make this pan not so hot because we want to uh, put the pasta from uh, the hot water here and so we don't want that the egg will cook you have to be oozy you have to be creamy okay so we need to uh, cut off uh, the heat uh, a few moments before water is boiling and we can put the spaghetti inside so this is a uh, a special Italian move. So someone is cutting in a half. Usually um, it's not recommended because uh, we want that uh, the pasta uh, will, um, will catch all the ingredients. So basically we double twist with uh, one end in, in, um, in oil and the other end in the other one. And we can put it in this way. And you have to put this one gently here. The, usually the cooking time is eight minutes, but we, mm, we want to, uh, the pasta that is not completely cooked because we finish the cooking here, okay? Because the, the pan, uh, as I remember, is not uh, um, cold, it's not hot, it's a little warm. And so you can, uh, you can basically uh, uh, put uh, seven minutes uh, or six and a half if you want that the pasta is uh, uh, traditionally says al dente. If you think that this fat is uh, too much, uh, and it's possible, 
you can uh, um, basically uh, trash it away, okay? So um, you can also use only the, the guanciale here and uh, just a little fat uh, to uh, creamy the, the eggs. Okay, the pasta is perfect. Safety is cooking in, in, in the kitchen is uh, absolutely important, so use uh, the appropriate tools, okay? In this case, we don't use uh, the cooking water because we have the, the fat of the guanciale. We do it like this. And we can put immediately the egg. We want that now that the egg will melt in a creamy and juicy way. Now it's time to add uh, half of cheese. So we can use uh, one fork here, put this one here, we can stir it up. This way, you can put here. Another, just a little touch of pecorino. And now it's the magic moment, we taste. A fork. Take a little piece of guanciale. As you can see, it's um, I say to not to uh, crack uh, spaghetti in half because uh, now it's uh, uh, basically sucking all the uh, ingredients. Mm. Mm. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a, you can you can see the salty of the guanciale, the crunchy of some pieces of guanciale, the salty of the pecorino, the smoothness of the egg. It's absolutely delicious. So that's all folks for today. This is the dish, pasta alla carbonara. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and uh, we'll see in the another recipe from Italy here with love. Ciao.